Governor of River State Simnalai Fubara says the federal high court decision restricting allocation to the state is the least of its problems. Governor Fubara was speaking during a special Thanksgiving service organized by the state government. He mentioned that despite the court order, he will continue to pay contractors and ensure worker salaries are disbursed from tomorrow. He also assured that allocations for the 23 council chairmen will be credited. Lawyer Kingdom Okere, standing by in our Abuja studio, will be talking about this development shortly after this break. And back to our coverage of the Federal High Court stopping the Central Bank of Nigeria from releasing monthly financial allocation from the Federation account to River State. I'm joined by lawyer Kingdom Okere live from our Abuja studio. Mr. Okere, how do you respond to critics who argue that Governor Fubara's actions regarding the state budget did violate the Constitution, especially in light of Justice Abdul Malik's ruling halting CBN allocations. Yeah, hello, thank you. Good evening, Nigerians. Go ahead, Mr. Okere, if you can hear me. Yes, um, the Federal High Court is at it again. The Federal High Court, led by Honorable Chief Judge of the Federal High Court, uh, Justice Shoho, and his team of Pronwike uh, uh, judges of the Federal High Court, they are showing and they have demonstrated that they are all repentant about uh, facilitating speedy hearing of every application that comes from Pronwike uh, lawmakers and that they are ready to grant it. In fact, what they have done now is to tell us that, in fact, that they already know what will happen at the Supreme Court. Because in, in pages 7 and 8 of the judgment of the shameful and condemnable judgment that was delivered today, the judge made it clear that the entire application before her was predicated on the judgment of Honorable Justice Omar Toshaw that uh, recognized the Ama Welles uh, uh, faction of the River State House of Assembly and ordered the uh, River State Governor to represent the 2024 budget before this factional House of Assembly. And the judge said that uh, the, that decision has been upheld by the Court of Appeal and that based on that, that the Ama Welles faction have local standing to institute and maintain the action and that she relies solely on the to set judgments that were exhibited also in a, as, as captured in page 8 of her judgment to deliver judgment. So the question you now ask yourself is whether the Court of Appeal is the final court in the land. You know, the final court in the land is the Supreme Court of Nigeria. And this matter is properly before the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Then you now ask yourself, why the rush? Why would the Chief Judge of the Federal High Court facilitate this kind of injustice against the people of River State and there is a willing judge uh, of the Federal High Court, uh, Justice Abdul Malik, who is willing to, to do this um, um, evil and uh, ungodly act against the people of River State. So they are not telling Nigerians, and let the world hear now, that the Promwike lawmakers already yes. know what, what is the would be, what would be the outcome of the matter before the Supreme Court. They I hear you clearly, Mr. Okere. Uh, uh, you, 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 are, you have used some very heavy words here. You've called the judgment yes, shameful, condemnable. I would have thought, hold on for a minute, Mr. Okere. Hold on for a minute, if you can. Uh, how would I have expected that as a lawyer yourself, you will hold uh, you know, the, the, the court in high esteem and that you will choose your words carefully? But I was going to ask you, if you can, Mr. Okere, listen to the question. Doesn't the Court of Appeals dismissal of Governor Fubara's appeal regarding the 800 billion era budget uh, reinforce some concerns about what some have called executive dictatorship and disregard for constitutional procedures in this what regard. about that is the, Supreme, the decision of the Court of Appeal is now before the Supreme Court. So what they are now telling us that they already know what will be the outcome of the matter before the Supreme Court. That is the issue at stake. That whatever comes from the pro lawmakers must be held expeditiously and all the reliefs must be granted. In fact, during this matter, at one of the sittings, the Honorable Judge has to adjoin like... Well, Mr. Curry, if you can hear me, 
Um, I, I'd like oh. us to drive this to some logical conclusion. Do you, is there a sense to which you think the National Judicial Council's probe into conflicting court rulings in River the State National will Council resolve some of the, the challenges you have raised? Yes, of course, the National Judicial Council is under the chairmanship of the Chief Justice of Nigeria. And I'm saying that this matter is now properly before the Supreme Court of Nigeria, which is the final court in the land. And so the, whatever that is the decision of the Court of Appeal is now before the, the, the Supreme Court of Nigeria and is subjudiced. So the fact remains that the issue as to which faction of the River State House of Assembly is the authentic River State House of Assembly, as to whether the defection of the Amal Willis uh, faction of the River State House of Assembly is legal, is still subject of lit litigation. Is still, they are now properly before the Supreme Court of Nigeria. So rushing to, to, to hear a matter in less than two weeks, in fact, at one of the cities, the, the judge has to return to her chamber more than three times, and the court sat almost up to five o'clock to 6 p.m. so that the right. judgment must be delivered in, a, in this matter. So what happens to the teachers in River State? What happens to the hospitals? What happens to the uh, to pregnant women in Antineta, in, in, right. in, in, in maternity? So the entire River State should shut down because there is That's a our time. who is the god of River State who we should not put his picture in all the churches in River State and worship him every Sunday. That's our time. It's the kingdom, okay? That's about it. We don't have all the time. Thank you for your contribution on the news tonight.